Well, it gets a little redundant to say that these are stacked finals, but I think it's hard to argue that there is a more stacked final than this men's 100-yard backstroke. Ryan Murphy's record coming in 43-49. But how about the eight we have here? Should be a huge day for Cal as the Bears have two in this final and Texas does not have any. In lane one, the runner-up in the 50-yard freestyle, Bjorn Seeliger. In lane number two, completing his double today after swimming the 100-yard butterfly, Nicholas Albiero, an NCAA champion in the, the 200-fly last year. And then next to him, it's Kasper Stokowski, an Olympian. This event is his specialty. He was 23rd in Tokyo in the 100-meter backstroke. In a stacked field, Indiana's Brendan Burns was the top qualifier this morning. Burns already has a ninth place finish today and now looks for a championship. He is the Big Ten champ in this event. Florida sophomore Adam Chaney was ninth in the 53. The SEC champion this year in the 100 back, he was ninth at NCAAs last year. And it's Cal's Destin Lasco, the runner-up in the 200 IM yesterday. He was fifth at Olympic trials in the 200-yard backstroke. And then how about Dean Ferris? He has skewed his 200-yard free to focus on the 100 back here. And Ferris has put himself in contention for a national championship. And then rounding things out from Ohio State, Big Ten runner-up Hunter Armstrong in lane eight. Rowdy, what do you think about uh, these eight in this field? You know, you know I said the 400 IM was going to be the race of the night, but that was at the top, you know, the very top three or four. This one is so deep, and you're looking at eight swimmers, 36 one-hundredths of a second separate those eight swimmers from the preliminary swim. This one has a chance to be a classic flip a coin with eight swimmers. All eight have a chance. This guy comes in seated seventh, has perhaps the fastest first 25 in history. Stokowski was the NCAA runner-up last year. Lasko finished third last year. Gentlemen, please stand down. And they'll bring them all down. For the sixth return from last year. Shane Casas, the champ last year, is gone, but second, third, fifth, and sixth. How about Dean Ferris getting into this final as well? He won the Ivy champ in the 100 and 200 free, more known for the free, but a great swim this morning to get him in out in lane seven. Two Cal Bears, no Texas Longhorns. Rowdy, big chance for Cal to move in front tonight. Yeah, Seelerker was the only guy to break 21 going out in the prelims. Here he is again at the bottom of your screen. He's going to have the speed. He's also got some clean water next to him, so that's going to help him once he's able to pop to the surface. And he's out in front here, but being no. pressured by Cheney of Florida. And it is Cheney who gets there first in 21.02. Yeah, Seelerker a lot slower. Three-tenths of a second. Cheney, 21 flat on the way out. But look how tight it is there. Look at that. Cheney still leading. Inside him, Brendan Burns coming hard. It is Cheney and Burns. Look at that turn for both Burns and Stokowski moving into the lead. Look at the finish. Stokowski moves from second to first just ahead of Burns by 11 hundredths. What a final turn. What a reaction. I don't think he's very excited about winning. <laughs> he needs to get more hyped up. There's Braden Holloway, one of the most underrated coaches in the country, in my opinion. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> You're right, buddy. You came back. There he is. Stokowski gets off to a great start. But at the 50, 
he was fourth. He was fourth at the 50 against this field. I would have never picked him if you're going to be fourth on the field at the 50 mark. And underwater, these guys have just amazing underwaters. And you said it the last turn. Watch when he comes off that wall. He gets deep enough. You've got to go deep enough to get up underneath that huge wave. And look, look at the pop to the surface right there. Beautiful, but tight, man. This was not a runaway. Just exactly what we expected in this race all the way through. Anybody's race. Yeah, Stokowski and Burns both turned almost equally in that <laughs> final 25. And I've never seen anyone get out of the water as fast as Stokowski did there. It would have taken me two weeks to get out of the water <laughs> if I had done that. So he gets the win after a second place finish last year. Brendan Burns, good day today. A second and a ninth. Adam Cheney third, Cal goes fourth and eighth. Seeliger never really got it going, so the Bears get a lot of points, but not quite as many as they could have here. Kasper Stokowski was out of the pool so quickly, he is very quickly over to Lara Overton. He was very quickly celebrating with his teammates, and we're going to let him get back to doing that very shortly, but you had to dig deep in that final 50. How much of a battle was it to win that title? It was a great race. I just saw Burns next to me, and... Uh, he kind of pushed me on the last 25, but I could have done it without my teammates. Like, I love him. <sighs> After finishing second last year, how much motivation did you draw from that over the past year? A lot, especially I was trying to draw from the last, last time, from the last year. And I did 44, uh, 04. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm very happy with this. Hey, I know you're eager to get out there and celebrate. As soon as you got out of the pool, you gave an incredible reaction. How much are you going to enjoy celebrating this victory with your teammate? Uh, we have a relay tonight uh, and then another day, so uh, we have to wait for celebration. Well, enjoy it at least a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. I'm happy. Uh, I just want to say I love you, my mom. Congratulations. Well, Kasper Zakowski, all business. Going to have to get the heart rate under control before that relay 